Deem Biology In biology, a deem, in the strict sense, is a group of individuals that belong to the same taxonomic group. However, when biologists, and especially ecologists, use the term deem, they usually refer to it as the definition of a gamma deem, a local group of individuals from the same taxon that interbreed with each other and share a gene pool. The latter definition of a deem is only applicable to sexual reproducing species, while the former is more neutral and also takes asexual reproducing species into account, such as certain plant species. In the following sections, the latter and most frequently used definition of a deem will be used. In evolutionary computation, a deem often refers to any isolated subpopulation subjected to selection as a unit rather than as individuals. Local adaptation. A population of a species usually has multiple deems. Environments between these deems can differ. Deems could, therefore, become locally adapted to their environment. A good example of this is the adaptive deem formation ADF hypothesis in insects. The ADF hypothesis states that herbivorous insects can become adapted to specific host plants in their local environment because local plants could have unique nutrient patches to which insects may become adapted. This hypothesis predicts that less mobile insect deems are more likely to become locally adapted than more dispersive insect. However, a meta-analysis, based on 17 studies on this subject, showed that dispersive insect deems were as likely to become locally adapted as less mobile insects. Moreover, this study found a small indication that feeding behaviour might stimulate the local adaptation of deems. Endophagous insects were more likely to become locally adapted than exophagous insects. The explanation for this could be that endophagous insects come in more close and continuous contact to the plant's mechanical, chemical and phenological defensive mechanisms. Speciation in deems Speciation could occur at the level of deems. When a deem gets geographically isolated from other deems of the same species, gene flow between these deems will stop which could lead to speciation after a long time. This is called allopatric speciation and is generally a slow process. On the contrary, sympatric speciation can be more rapid when a species has multiple small deems. This rapid speciation is both observed in plants and vertebrates. Rapid speciation is explained by the ecology and social structure of deems. Species that behave more territorial, live in patchy environments and slash or have a polygynous breeding system with only one reproductive male tend to have smaller deem sizes. Interbreeding between small deems is rare due to these factors. Furthermore, alleles fix it more rapidly in smaller deems. Small deems could therefore become genetically distinct from each other. Primates, for example, have the second highest speciation rate among mammals, with one speciation event per lineage every three million years. However, not all primate species have a high speciation rate. This is reflected in their deem size and social structure. Yenon cercopithecus, for example, live together in small polygynous troops and are a quite diverse genus. On the other hand, baboons papio have a much low speciation rate. Baboons have larger deem sizes because they live in polygynous multi-male troops. These baboon deems are usually allopatric, but gene flow still exists between deems with hybridization being common. Examples Various populations of gorillas can be understood by their geographical separation and have been assessed to determine distinct and disjointed gene pools. The polar bear, Ursus maritimus, is understood to have 19 identifiable deems, even though their circumpolar distribution allows some interchange among the deems.